Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, January the 6th. Welcome to Daily Grace. I'm using my brand new Christmas present Bible today, and it is wonderful. It has my name, actually. My family got it for me. It has my name right on it right there, and I just love this Bible. It's a great study Bible. I received a question after the service on Sunday about this idea, this great biblical idea that God has great faith in you. Are there any stories that would support that, that would reveal God's great faith in us. I thought I'd start with a few right now, although we'll get into it deeper on tomorrow night's Zoom Q&A. And if you want to join, just email me, john.slidetrygrace.org, and we're just going to talk. We're going to talk about that and any other questions that you might have, just an open Zoom to anybody. But I thought I'd give you a couple, a couple stories right here. First of all, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve mess up royally. And the standard operating procedures, the SOP, for people messing up royally in their world was destruction. And instead of destruction, God talks about redemption. Why would he do that? Unless he had great faith in them. Then their son, Cain, kills his brother, Abel. God says to Cain famously, you know, where is your brother? And Cain says, am I my brother's keeper? So he refuses to be his brother's keeper. He messes up royally. He murders his brother. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And yet, what do we see God do? God is Cain's keeper. So what Cain refused to do, God does for Cain. Puts a mark on him. Genesis chapter 4, verse number 15. And how about Noah? We're told this at the beginning of the story about Noah. Genesis 6, verse number 5, it says this, The Lord saw that the wickedness of humanity was great in the earth, and that every, notice this, every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So humanity is completely evil, totally corrupt, every thought, every intention, and yet what? What does God do? He provides a way out. He provides an ark. Why would God do this over and over and over again for human beings unless in the midst of all the wrong that we do? Why would God do it? Unless he had great faith in you and in great faith in me. Psalm 8, God has crowned you with glory and honor. Immerse yourself in those thoughts. Push out all the other thoughts that are contrary to that and allow yourself to be bathed in your mind with the fact that God has great faith in you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Push away all other contrary thoughts and let us be immersed in the fact that you tell us you have great faith in us. In Christ's name, amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.